Patricia Gross. Welcome to Passion Time. I'm here with Milton Torres da Silva. He was a diplomat He uh, for 40 years for Brazil. He's uh, lived all over the world, in Europe, in the United States, and he's an expert on Iran and, of course, Brazil. So today we're going to talk a little bit about Brazil, um, and it's great to have you here, uh, Mr. Torres da Silva. Thank you so much for joining us. And I'd like to ask you, first of all, um, how did you find your passion? How are you living your passion? Well, history I always liked very much, and I, I like poetry as well, yes. Let me ask you about um, Brazil. Now, you, um, you were a diplomat for Brazil for many years, and since you're a historian, you've written several books on the Amazon, and you, you're also a poet, something's happened to Brazil that as someone who has been following Brazil because you know my family's from Argentina and Brazil is the most important economy in, in South America something happened that just fell right this was a brick country a very very prosperous popular everything was going great and all of a sudden there's this huge corruption scandal and the country is in a mess it's got inflation unemployment anything that could go wrong it just happened but you as a historian of Brazil and knowing the history, what role does, does maybe being a Portuguese colony have to do with the corruption, if, if it has anything to do with the corruption that we see? Because apparently it's not just the president who is now being impeached, but the opposition party is also corrupt. And of course we're dealing with the Petrobras scandal, a bribery scandal. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? As I said, I deal with Amazonian history mostly. Yes. And uh, the problems of Brazil, when you study the colonial days, either in, because Brazil was infected, there is a big mistake about Brazil. The right way of speaking about colonial Brazil, and I'm going later on with modern things, should be, uh, uh, Colonial Brazil, Portuguese colonial Brazil, the state administrative with a direct connection, administrative connection to Lisbon. The problems of present day Brazil, if you study attentively the colonial days, they were all there. The same problems. The, the roots of the problems were there. What we call in Portu Portuguese language, mandonismo, which is excessive personal authority, governors doing what they wish, uh, no uh, possibility of the normal man or the poor man to have a fair expression of himself in this society. Brazil was basically a monocultural country. Uh, the uh, first great, uh, all, all voted to exportation, sugar in Pernambuco and uh, the coastal area of Bahia. Later on, diamonds in Minas Gerais, Goiás, and Mato Grosso. Uh, then, in the imperial days, Brazil was an, an empire. And the only, the great, not only, but the great exploitation was then coffee. Right. So, it has been a monocultural country most of his history. And obviously dominated by the rural classes, those that own the land. Right. And uh, this uh, was slaves uh, working in all this rural area. The strongest slaver, uh, slavery coming to America was to Brazil. Brazil. Uh, imported more slaves than any other country, more than Spanish colonies, more than the United States, was really a typical uh, economy based on slave. black slave work. Okay. And 
big properties. Okay. And uh, the rural the rural societies of this kind uh, tend to be very conservative, as the south of the United States was also very conservative. Yes. This seems to be a trait of the agricultural producing areas based on black slave work. So, uh, Brazil has had social problems since the discovery, times. since the beginning of the colonial times. The laws in Brazil and the way things are done, they tend to safeguard the status quo. This is a, a Latin American problem. Yes. But people so. are yeah. finally saying enough is enough. We, they go out in the streets and, and change is happening. However, the same people seem to be taking over the, the, the government who were also corrupt. Are you hopeful that something's changed, so that this that, stops? I think that your observations are very right. Corruption is a problem all over Latin America. Yes. Brazil, it's not an, an Oh, it's an not, not Brazil, it's all of them. It's not an ex exclusive Brazilian problem. It has to do with the very old historical uh, misdoing of things. We have now, you can see over the television, a vision, how fast and efficient police is. People are really being taken to jail. Which is uh, something new for... for in a sense, that. yes, okay. because this was not a very common thing in, in the past. The, the Brazilian prisons were crowded with blacks, with poor people, and I believe that this is be the beginning of a change. Of a change. Okay. I, I don't believe, I don't want to exaggerate things. Let's say this procedure in the direction of... Uh, progress, political and social progress, because things come together, is starting, but this will take a long some time. more years. Okay. Thank you so much uh, uh, for sharing your knowledge and your wisdom about your country, and uh, we appreciate you being here on, on Passion Time. Milton Torres da Silva, thank you. And we'll be back next week on Passion Time. Parece que está haciendo nuestro videoclip, está quedando paradísimo. ¿Ah, sí? Ajá. Él va a estar cubriendo la cosa.